Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to take the air sampling collections through the Tedlar bags. <clears throat> if you'll notice on the bag, you'll have a valve with a nipple. Uh, the, bow the valve itself is a on-off valve. Uh, you twist it um, counterclockwise to open the valve and clockwise to close the valve. <clears throat> also, you'll need a pump of some sort. What we provide is just a generic Coleman uh, mattress pump. This pump uh, runs on 4D batteries, has a deflate and an inflate. For the deflate, that's where we'll actually take the collection on the vessel or from the source where treated or untreated air is being drawn from. We have rigged this unit up for compression fittings, just like supplied on our odor control systems. If you'll notice, uh, the installation on these are with a 3 8 bushing and what we do for the hose is put a quarter inch hose inside that bushing. In this setup it's uh, best probably to use flexible hose as the nipple on the bag <clears throat> will need to be tight and secure over it while taking the sample. The flexible hose provides a little bit better uh, penetration on that. So before you take the samples itself you'll want to test the bag to make sure the bag doesn't have any tears or rips or holes in it. So what you'll want to do is open up the bag one full turn, turn the pump on, fill the bag with a little bit of air. You ain't got to fill it till it's completely full but about half filled. Go ahead and shut your valve off completely till it's tight and allow the bag to rest uh, for probably five minutes and just verify no, no air has escaped the bag. So once you have filled the bag and tested it, go ahead and bleed the air out of the bag. You can press the air out gently. Uh, it would probably be best to utilize the hose you're pulling from on the short side for the inflation. Uh, swap it from your long hose that you'll have installed on your system. We'll use this as an example I already have on here, um, right here in the camera. Reverse it and suck the air out of the bag with the valve open. It'll immediately pull the air out, shut it off, the pump and go ahead and just let the rest of the remaining air, if there's any in there, escape. So, <clears throat> during this time you'll probably be setting up to take the sample. Um, before you actually fill the bag and have it ready to package to ship to the lab, go ahead and, and write down uh, the location of the sample, the date, uh, and just identification. Uh, for identification purposes, go ahead and just write on it. That way you got a flat surface to write on it and you're not trying to write with something that's, con you know, full. But this is what I filled out on this one already, uh, just for demonstration. I put uh, the source, uh, the sample ID, and I put the time and date. So, <clears throat> again, with the pump, on the deflate side, you'll see it marked on top of the pump. This is where the air you'll be pulling from will run through the pump and put the sample into the bag. So <clears throat> make sure all your connections are tight on this pump. That way you're not pulling ambient air outside of the source that you're actually trying to take the sample from. So fill in the bag. What you'll do is you'll connect your hose back again on the nipple of the valve from the inflate end on the pump. Connect it to the nipple. Open up the valve one full turn counterclockwise and instead of just taking one long pull <clears throat> right off the bat and filling it completely give it uh, a few on off burst with the power button on the pump that way you're you know you're allowing some time some different airs to be pulled through versus one just quick quick pull so I'll fill the bag turn it off and you only want to fill these bags two-thirds full. You don't want to completely fill it till it almost seems like it's going to bust if you go any further. So 
So there's really no good way to measure if you're two-thirds full or not, but basically once it seems like it's got loose of all of its creases and it's got quite, quite a bit of air in there, stretch it out a little bit. Go just a little bit more. So it's not completely taut. The bag doesn't feel like it wants to pop or it's not giving any. So I'd go a little bit more on this application here for demonstration. And I would deem that two thirds full. So once you got the air in there, go ahead and hold the valve and completely close it till it's tight. I had that valve open a little further, but typically you only just want to go full one full turn. But just, you know, finger tight and that should ensure that it's not going to escape. So again, while pre-testing the bag, <clears throat> what you'll want to do is verify anything, nothing's happened, nothing, you haven't rubbed it on anything that cause, or cause a puncture in the bag, but just keep it beside you for a little while and make sure that no air is escaping in it. Kind of get a, a feel of how full you got it. So when you come back in a couple minutes, check it again, make sure the air hasn't bled off. So you'll have detailed instructions provided uh, for shipping these back and filling out chain of custodies. Um, those will be detailed in the shipping package that we provide you with. It'll come with the bags and the pump. Uh, the, whatever lab we've chosen, they'll have their own detailed instructions on how to ship these bags out. Um, but just follow that and if you have any questions, call us 254-933-2270. Uh, Thanks.